I'm William Richardson reporting from Inside Gamble Pavilion where the UConn women's basketball team just finished off an intense practice after last game against Memphis. Coach Gina Ariamo wasn't really happy with his team and how they played. He benched Brianna Stewart and Morgan Tuck in the game. And this practice was very, very intense, very physical. They worked on pretty much every aspect of the game. And after practice, we were able to talk to Coach Ariamo as well as players Sanaya Chong, Clint Mosqueda Lewis, Kia Nurse, Mariah Jefferson, and Brianna Stewart. So let's go ahead and check that out. South Carolina is a good team, so we can't come out slow. We have to really come out, um, try to get the ball out in transition and just have a lot of energy during the whole 40 minutes of the game. Can you just talk about the magnitude of this matchup in the middle of your conference schedule uh, and, and then two months before really the postseason play? Yeah, it's a big game. Uh, I think we try to approach every game the same, so we have to come out with the same mindset, make sure that we're ready, and just go out and play our, play our game. Well, I mean, I think it's important. I think it's, you know, it's a big game, and, you know, it seems like everyone's, everyone, everyone is going to be watching the game. You know, it's one versus two, that kind of thing, and, you know, non-conference play, and it'll be a good test for us. What do you like about, what do you see about South Carolina that impresses you in fine film or people watching on TV? Well, I think the, you know, just the way they go after it. They're, they're a really aggressive team, and, you know, they, the way they rebound the ball, it seems like they're they're always on the glass, that kind of thing, and, and just a relentless kind of attitude. So, Kalina, tomorrow's big game, one versus two. What goes into the preparation for a game like this? I think for us it's all about mentality and how we're going to come out initially into the game. I think we have to come out aggressive and with a lot of intensity. So I think that's going to be our main focus right now is coming out strong. Was that the focus in the practice for today? Because last game you guys came out really kind of sluggish and you know we saw the issues with Tuck and Stewie not being or not being played in the game so is that something you guys worked on in practice today? Yeah definitely our approach is something we worked on today and it's definitely been something that we've kind of been working through all season. Our inconsistency in the way we start is something that we want to make sure that we cut out um, indefinitely. Now what's the one aspect that's going to matter the most for a game like against Sarah Carolina? I think what's going to matter the most is, you know, it's going to come down to how we rebound. You know, they have a lot of big kids that are going to be aggressive in there, and so it's going to be up to the guards and up to the big guys to make sure that we keep them off the boards offensively and defensively. What goes into the preparation for a game like this? Definitely think, you know, just a lot of film, a lot of practice, and, you know, we kind of just take each game when it comes. And, you know, we had a game yesterday, so now it's time to focus on South Carolina. And, you know, we've been doing a good job. We had a good practice today, and that always helps. Now, in the last game, Tuck and Stewie obviously didn't play in the second half. So does something like that as a player kind of distract you from your game? We try not to, you know, obviously let it distract us. We have some great players coming in off the bench, and, you know, they did a really good job yesterday. I mean, Sanaya Chong stepped up really big for us, Gabby Williams. And, you know, we kind of just played with it, and we played with each other during practice and whatnot. So we really just needed to get, get a little bit of a rhythm there. And mm -hmm. in the second half, that's what came out, and, you know, we did a really good job. Now, not to take the credit away from yourself, but you've been playing really well as of late. So what's the one adjustment you've made from the beginning of the season until now? I think I've just grown a little bit each and every game, you know, learned new things from my teammates and from the coaches and from the game in general. And I think I've just been more aggressive and, you know, looking for my shot a little bit more confidently. And that's always made the big difference. Now, what's the one aspect of this game that's going to matter the most to you? I think defensively, you know, just having communication, being together, being on the same page, all of us, all five, you know, team defense will be a big thing for us. Tomorrow's a big game. What's the one aspect that you guys have worked on the most during practice today? I would say defense. Uh, I know that they're fast, um, fast paced team. Uh, so we're trying to stop them, have full court press and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be one huge thing. Definitely not limiting their shots. Now, the last couple of games, you guys have started off kind of slow, but practice today was fairly mm -hmm. fast-paced. So is that something you guys want to push more as the season goes on? Yeah, definitely. I thought that today was a really great practice that we've had. Um, and I think that it just needs to continue. Uh, being consistent is a thing that we have, playing hard, and I think we'll, go, we'll be good. Now, how have you seen this team progress from the game against Stanford to now? I think that we're, we have been connected more, I would say. Uh, in the Stanford game, here and there, things weren't um, feeling right. But I think that moving on, that we've all been connected and we know what each person can do. And uh, we know each person knows their role on the team. So I think that helps a lot. So I think it shows. Tomorrow, that's why you play these games. I think that games like uh, tomorrow are games where at the end of the game, or the next morning, you get to sit back and look at your team and say, Hmm. I didn't know. I didn't realize we could do that. 
you know, or you look back and you go, I didn't realize that could happen to us. But now that we know, let's move on. That's the big, that's the way we've always handled these games. Maybe that's why we've had so much success in these games. I don't think the magnitude of the game um, should, should have any bearing on the players and the coaches. It might be on the fans and the media. I don't know. I'm sure, you know, down in Columbia, this is a huge game, as it should be, because South Carolina has not had the opportunity to be in those kinds of games a lot. Um, I think when you've played in the games that we've played over the years, um, you look at this game as, you know, this is going to be really cool to play a team we don't know very much about um, and maybe establish after three or four years, whatever, the kind of rivalry that makes women's basketball better. So you heard from the players and from Coach R.M. They're very excited to get this game underway. Their game is on Monday here at Gamble Pavilion at 7 o'clock. Reporting from Gamble Pavilion, I'm Wayne Richardson, and this is UC Sports.